It's, it's Skittles. And, um, I, I'm not going to call it a vlog, really. Because vlogs, I looked it up online, and I'm not trying to take Google's every single word. But it did say that vlogs were things that they, the YouTubers do on a daily basis. And really, is me just taking out my dog. That's what I've been doing since the longest. So if I want to do a vlog, I technically, like, hold myself unless I'm going to, like, play football doing a vlog. Or work out doing a vlog. Or take a road trip doing a vlog, you know. So I'm not going to really call this a vlog. I'm going to call this... I'm going to call this... I'm going to make a new series, okay? I'm making a new series. It's going to call... to be called... What's going on in America? I like it. I like it. I, I, I very much like that. What's going on in America? What's going on in America? W-G-O-A. Woga. 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 W-G-O-A. Okay. So, today, and what's going on in America? Well, this sounds like a lot like Good Morning America. But anyway... So, did everybody hear about TanaCon? Because I know you're tired of hearing it, and I know I'm tired of seeing it talking about it. But there was nothing else really trending too much on YouTube, or failures on YouTube. But not on YouTube, just in like trying to create um, cons. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, so, TanaCon. TanaCon was an absolute success is what I would be saying to you if I was lying to your face. It was complete failure. They shut it down before anything even happened. So, let's run it down. The whole timeline series of events, then what I think about it, and then a meme. So I can spice up my title and get more views. For the views! So, it's uh, the day that VidCon went off at the same place as VidCon. Like, literally, is walking distance from VidCon. And I guess Tana hated VidCon because she wasn't a feature creator. So she was like, screw you, YouTube. I'm going to make my own VidCon and I'm going to have feature creators that actually get to see their fans and their fans actually get to see them, which did not happen. So, uh, what happened? First, it was like everybody was arrived, right? Then, but people arrived a lot. Like, so basically, what happened was, I'm trying to catch myself and start the story. It's kind of hard to find a timeline now of all this failure. But I'm not hanging out, Tana. Like, this was actually a disaster. But anyway, um, what else? They went into the place. Okay, they were filling up the ballroom and everything. So the ballroom was filled up, right? And nobody could go back inside. Luckily for Tana, it was like 92 degrees outside. So while people were standing outside, they got third degree burns. Literal third degree burns. That's away from a fourth degree burn. And a fourth degree burn is burning the skin off of your bone. That's how bad these burns were. They stood out there for five hours in blistering heat. Can you, could you believe, would you want to do that? I don't think you would want to do that. Now, Shane, PewDiePie... Uh, Tana herself made a lot of videos on this failure, but I just want to keep elaborating on it. So after that, there was this girl that got, I think it wasn't a heat-related injury. I think she got, like, trampled or something, probably. And I felt bad for her because she, like, rolled out on a stretcher. The police came because they were in the ballroom, right? And I guess people were getting kind of triggered because they're like, where the freak is Tana? Where are all the the FFCs? And those are the feature, the featured effing creators, as Tana likes to call it. But what happened was that the people, it was a hotel. And it could, even though, like, 4,000 people showed up, Oh, it can only hold about a thousand five hundred people. Yeah, shocker. So all those people inside trying to fit inside were like, okay, because there was a whole crowd and everything. One thousand five hundred people filling the ballroom too. And the ballroom's pretty big. That they, they filled that too, and all the hallways. There's barely enough space to walk. So the hotel. I think I don't know if it was the hotel crew. But I think it was. They got into the rooms and they would call the police. Talking about, we can't deal with this. Okay, there's too much people here. 
we need assistance, please, because, I mean, um, yeah, too much people, they can't handle that, um, so, Max, come on, let's go, don't you want to go over, come on, no position, come on, go, okay, he doesn't want to go. Okay, I'm just going to take him aside and continue the vlog. So, like I said, yeah, they called the police. And so here's where uh, another big lie happened. Or another part of the the giant event that happened in, I think it was California. Or, I don't know. So, basically what happened was, um, Tana said there were... 15,000 people, 20,000 people even, rumor said. That, Tana actually said there was like 50,000 people that showed up. Guess what? There was only 4,000. Police put in a report of the town, of the city, and it said only like 4,000 people were um, actually there. 1,500 people were um, fitting inside the building. Other 3,000 people were burning up, getting third-degree burns. I mean, people even made... No, I swear... It, I mean, it's bad. Like, this is, like, a real disaster. Because people came home, and they made, like, stories and vlogs about it. And you can see it all over the internet. And, like, just type it in. TanaCon, what happened after. You know, and people looked. They looked as if they were, like, pale white. Right? And they went on the beach in 100 degree heat. And they slept for five hours. And then they went home. That's what they looked like. They looked like freaking pink Starburst pink. I was like, dang. Like, Tana, what did you do? <laughs> like, come on. These are people, not dogs. Like, come on. What was that? She, and she said this was going to be such a great event, I guess. It was a disaster, honestly. I mean... What if she, I wonder what would happen if she made it, planned another TanaCon. Like after she's done crying in bed, she tweets out, Hey guys, hey guys, I hope you're excited for the next TanaCon 2019. Yay. Bruh. She will be getting fire on the internet, bro. Under fire. She'll be below fire. She'll be sub zero, but sub fires. <laughs> oh my gosh, it'll be bad. Anyway, I got a storm heading to me. So I better close this up. Uh, yeah, police were like, okay, shut this crap down. And it got shut down. And everybody was like, what happened to my money? <laughs> you, like, that's like, that's, just let me sum it up for you. I'm a 18, no. I'm a 16-year-old um, white female. Like, I'm reporting to the police. I, yeah, I'm a 16-year-old white female that paid, like, twenty dollars to stand outside for five hours and get third degree sunburns on my chest and legs also get bitten by mosquitoes and not have anything to eat or anything to drink yes i would like to press charges <laughs> yes i would like to press charges so yeah um but i'm not done yet it's meantime so obunga if you haven't heard this meme, it's like, you could j just type it up, okay? It's a very funny meme, like, it's where Obama's face is stretched out, like, oh, it's like stretched out. You know how on, like, editor or something, you can stretch out their faces? Let's say you get on um, the top of the head and pull it up, that's what his face looks like. And his, he's, like, frowning, he has super stretch marks, and it's like, everything's so weird, like... I, I don't know what, because that's a funny meme, honestly. PewDiePie covers it better than me, but I think I got it so far. It's a funny meme. It's basic, and even Obama came out on, like, Twitter, I think it was, and he said, stop calling me Obunga. Like, <laughs> it's a funny meme. I totally um, helped you understand that, yeah. I can't pull up any photos right now. I don't know how to do that. I am a novice YouTuber. I'm trying to follow trends. So you, so I can get more views, so I can start getting money, 
so I can buy you guys better equipment and become rich and buy some Gucci flip-flops. I'm serious. I want Gucci flip-flops. Okay. And one more meme just to end this good morning, America. I mean, not good morning. Freak. What was it? Uh, What's going on in America? Um, Let's see. The E. I don't really understand the E. How about the T-Pose? Well, I get, yeah, there's this thing, and I only see it in schools, really. I see it, like, I only see boys in high, like, high school. They would be in bathrooms holding their arms out like a T with the head on top, which is, like, a lowercase T or just not a T at all, I guess. It's kind of stupid because they have their head, so, like, it's not a T. Yeah. But... Yeah, so I don't know what they're trying to get at it with. It's a T pose. I don't understand what it's meant for. Probably to show masculism. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, that's the end of this. Uh, what's going on in America? I'm about to get hit by lightning. So see you guys later. And God bless me.